Literally. I just thought why not a video about me I've literally been thinking about doing this now for like two weeks and I've put it off um, then I got some long hours at work and yeah um, thought why not just get it done today um, it is Sunday the 14th of February Happy Valentine's Day! You won't be seeing this on Valentine's Day, unfortunately. But happy Valentine's Day regardless. I hope you all had a lovely Valentine's Day with your loved ones, partners, or just family members. Um, for those of you who aren't with anyone, I hope you still had a lovely day and, you know, had some self-love um, that we all, I think, need during these crazy, crazy times that we're facing. I am hoping i've got everything crossed that literally we can just get out of this just get out of it just get rid of 20 so yeah i just want to make a quick start on um hi um my name's amy oliver as the name of my channel is literally just my name i didn't think anything else was appropriate because um i think in my mind right now i'm kind of thinking you know, just make it, you know, not all about me, obviously, um, but, you know, just a day in the life of me and, you know, just come along my journey a little bit, you know, see what things I end up doing this year. It's 2021. We need to get rid of last year and everything that last year brought to us. And we just need to, I think like me, me, me myself, I need to kind of grow now um this year's a new year we've got to you know make big changes for ourselves and i just think let's do it let's just make big changes make those big choices that you've been thinking about stop putting things off if you want to do something do it and that's what i'm doing today i am literally making the big step of making a youtube <laughs> and i literally never thought i would i really didn't i didn't think I'd, i would um i am 22 22 turn January um I live in the UK um in the northeast of the UK in a little town called Stockton on Tees nobody's heard of it well you know no one will really know without googling Stockton on Tees and then realizing how far away it is from where they live and then they're like oh my god you're like four hours away six hours away ten hours away <laughs> and then you realize Literally, like, the little tiny little continent on the world that's, like, this big. Um, 
that's where I am, on the northeast of that little continent right up there. I currently work in a McDonald's restaurant. Um, didn't think I'd ever get in, into um, an occupation like that. Um, but I actually quite enjoy it. Um, the people there are lovely, you know, we get on, whatever. Um, and I've kind of, you know, I'm, count I'm like really thanking my lucky stars really that, you know, I managed to get this job because um, to look back and reflect from um, February 2021, I lost my job in a day nursery. Um, I just left it. I left it, didn't, you know, I just left it. You know, that, that was the end of that. That was the end of that chapter of my life kind of thing. Um, I left that job in February and then lockdown happened and I was like, oh no, like, I'm not even going to be able to find a job here. Like, it's going to be a nightmare. I need to leave my hair alone. What am I doing? <laughs> um, yeah, no. I... You know, it was like one of those things where, you know, you just chapter, just let it go, let it, you know, let the past be what's in the past now. Um, and yeah, I, March come, we well went into lockdown. So obviously I was out of work for a long time, couldn't get into even any interviews. I got with this agency, you see, um, again. I got with this agency and they were pretty much you know, really lovely, they were fine, um, but they never really contacted me with, you know, like, a job or any, anything like that, so October come last year, managed to get a job, um, interview for McDonald's, of course, I had to be over the phone because of COVID, um, and, yeah, I got the job, and I was like, did I? <laughs> Like, I almost didn't believe it until it come to my first day. And my first, obviously, I'm, you know, you get trained on your first day. And I was just, like, totally taken back. I was like, yeah, I actually work here now. Like, oh, my God. Um, and, yeah, I just... I was gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. Um, I'm still there now, and it's now February 2021. So I've been there four months. Um, and, yeah, you know, new things are coming, big things are coming, and, you know, I look, I look forward to them. I do. I really do. I can't wait for to see what, um, you know, this year or next year, like, holds for me and, you know, my family. And pretty much, you know, my dreams, um, you know, for, like, kind of, like, my future and my family's future, you know, I kind of want to be, you know, back in with um, childcare settings in some way. I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, I'm kind of in a stage where now I don't really know where I fit in um, in this crazy world we're living in right now. Um, and that's just because of the pure fact that, you know, who knows what's going to happen next. With my personal life, um, going on like the personal side of things, I met my boyfriend Dan um, in 2017, um, like, literally through mutual friends. And I just thought, you know... At the time, I was like, I didn't really want a relationship. I was just like, you know, I'd left college. Well, I was, yeah, I'd literally left college, started uni, um, studying my level four, four and five in early years, childcare and development. And, you know, I had all that going on. Um, obviously, uni is super, super stressful, um, super hard, super annoying, all the above. And I just thought that, you know... You know, I was going through a phase of, you know, just going out with friends. I worked in the nursery at the time. I had uni. And, you know, I just wanted to have a nice network of friends that I could trust. And, you know, that, you know, I could just settle with. Um, and, you know, not have any, like, chaos going on of, like, you know, friendships breaking up and things like that. Because in the past, you know, friendships have broke up and they have completely broken down. And, you know, I've just thought, well, what's the point? But one of my, like, really, really good friends, we, I've known her now since, pff, when did I start uh, college? 2015. I've known her for, like, it'll be, like, six years this year. Oh, my God. And, you know, she's, like, she's, like, fa well, she is family. Do you know what I mean? You know, you make that, I don't know if, like, you yourself, you've ever made, like, a friendship and you've just, you've bonded since day one and it's just developed into more than a friendship, but like a relationship where you know she's like a sister that I don't have um I only have a brother who's 11 years old this year oh my goodness um and he was born when I was 11 so it's like it's quite funny he's 11 this year um that's when he was born um and you know I love him like with everything he is so good with 
my little girl, I have a little girl called Esme, um, who I had in 2019. It's just been a roller coaster of fun since 2017. Um, me and my boyfriend, we would travel every year for occasions. It was always for birthdays, always for birthdays. Um, we've been to, um, together we've been to Edinburgh, which was um, January 2020 um, for my 25th. First, um, we've been to Liverpool, Leeds, and Northampton together. That's four places me and Dan have been to. Um, with my family, I've travelled to Mallorca, Salou. I've been to Salou so many times. Um, it's crazy. We've actually we we booked for last year, but of course, of course, because COVID only started kicking off last year, it got reimbursed until this year. It's booked. We've got it in for July. Whether we go or not is like a, do we go? Uh, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, um, if we don't go, no hard feelings. We might go the year like year after ne uh, next year. Oh my goodness. It's weird saying next year when it's 2021 now. It's so strange. I am super excited just to, you know, create some crazy content hopefully some funny content and just you know just have a bit of fun with youtube itself um and editing which you know i'm hoping isn't like crazy hard i am super excited to use youtube as a platform just to have a bit of fun and yeah i just hope that you know you love it as much as i do and you know always remember life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful